Bone here, how are you all doing? Right, today we're going to talk about um, we kind of keep getting uh, requests about obviously my guitars and how I build them and, and so forth. Um, this is one of my early builds of mine which I use all the time as you can see in lots of my lessons um, and I use this one on stage and when I'm out busking. Uh, most of my guitars are tuned to open G which is G D G. Um, some I tune to E um, and sometimes I tune to um, the which would be a normal six string um, Dobbo tuning which is uh, G B D um, but mainly I use most of it in just G D G so let's talk about construction um, I have a workshop um, which is basically a shed um, I don't have any big big workshops like some other people do and my guitars, these guitars, reach out the, the, the cheaper end of um, cigar box guitars because uh, I, I, I retail these for around about £100, <laughs> which is quite an affordable thing for most people. And there are some guys out there that sell these anything from 200 up to £400, £500, um, but they are sort of the Rolls Royce top end. Not all of mine are actually guitar box, or say cigar boxes, as you say, this one's an old paint an old artist paint box um, are basically uh, cigar boxes are getting quite difficult to get hold of and when you do when they do come up they actually trying to charge you quite a lot of money for them because uh, people have cottoned on that we're making guitars out of them so what I do is I go around to car boots um, jumble cells anything I can find um, and then I use um, in fact this is a, a box I found uh, this was a car boot this is um, Monte Cristo Cuban Cigars, it's quite a nice little box there um, which I shall be making a guitar out of, I picked this one up for about 50p so there are things that are. Here's another paint one that I picked up um, which is very similar to that one um, so I should probably take the handle off and create that into one of this style I don't have a paint one, I think that was a pound um, Here's a cigar box, um, this is actually a another Colombian cigar box which has been attempt or someone looks like someone's attempted to make it into a guitar um, I shall um, convert this into another little cigar box guitar for someone I'll probably put a piezo pickup in one of these um, when it comes to necks here's, here's, a, here's a couple of necks I'm actually building at the moment I've got two two cells at the moment this one is a this is uh, I think a Brazilian mahogany with an oak fretboard and you can see my construction there so that's the neck I cut off the top part there I put a, an extra bit here because obviously this will have a pickup in it and then this bit I build at the back here so I've got somewhere to screw my bridge to and the same with this one this, this now this is actually beach with oak and you can see that slightly different style on this one again a bottom foot on it, two back on there for the where the uh, bridge will go. Um, now, if I haven't got boxes, I will build my own boxes. And here's a couple. These are actually the boxes. These two boxes here are actually for these guitars here. So you will see when this is cut out, that will go in there, and the lid goes on top, and that will be a guitar eventually. So these boxes, what I do is I just get some, um, this is 50mm uh, plain. I've actually got a planer, so I just buy um, sawn timber and I can cut it to what size I want. Um, and then I'll put some dowels in the corner so when the lid goes on, it's screwed in each corner to hold, hold the lid on. This obviously will then have holes cut in it for the tone and volume and a pickup slot cut out here. Now these won't be just plain like this, they will have a image on. And what I do is I print my images, there's one there, this is going to go on one of these boxes. So that will be the lid, or the top of the box, and another one here, that's the other one. And what I do is put these on an inkjet, I then glue them, I cut the boxes first, I cut all the holes, everything out first, cut this all to the right size, I actually assemble it, sand it all so it's all nicely fit then I'll glue this on after that's ready to go 
And once that's glued on, I let that dry, and then I, I matte varnish the whole lot um, so that it doesn't scratch off. Um, and what I also do, as you will see here, the box, when I when I put the frame to the ply, this is 8mm, 8mm, 4-5mm ply, what I do is I always make it oversize. As you can see, that one there is well oversized. And then I, with the bandsaw, I cut around there, and then when I've sanded it, it's nicely beveled and so forth. So that's them. When it comes to bridges, if it's going to be a fixed tail bridge, I use this type of bridge. I get them in black and chrome. If it's going to be um, a floating bridge, uh, most of them I actually do with a fixed bridge, but if it's going to be a floating bridge, so I'd have my fixing plate here, which is normally a hinge, a brass hinge, and then I'd build my own bridges, which go here, um, which I build out of oak, and I put um, uh, a jumbo fret in for the actual bridge. And those, um, I would normally put a piezo pickup underneath. Um, sometimes I put a piezo pickup and a, and a single coil pickup. It depends what the customer wants. Uh, that's bridges, and then I've come to machine heads. I've got boxes and boxes of machine heads. Machine heads, all types. Chrome, black, um, chrome with like a, a pearl knob on them. These I just buy off the internet, you know, go on eBay, see who's, who's selling machine heads. And sometimes I get damaged guitars that come in where the necks are broken and people donate the guitars, so I just take all the parts off, like machine heads and so forth, because um, they always come in handy. Because not every guitar will have a matching machine head. Sometimes I put mix max of machine heads. You know, that's what they're about, Scarbox guitars. And then when it comes to pickups, um, these are my single core pickups, which I buy. Uh, these ones are actually pre-wired. Um, I do buy um, also single core ones in like this, which are not wired, and then I wire them myself. Um, I also use, this is often an acoustic guitar, it's a Dan Mackley, um, which I will use. Obviously that's just got a plug on it, I will then put that to a, a volume control. Um, piezo pickups which I use because that's the sort of pickups and stuff that I use now when when I sell on these guitars when they go out to the customer because some of the customers have never played a guitar in their life um, they're just starting out new obviously Scarbox guitar is a great way to learn to play the guitar I send out these now this is a chord sheet that goes with every guitar that tells you all the chords that you need and I also do a scale sheet as well so there's all the scales this is a blues scale sheet um, so all the scales in open G for the blues scale um, if you want copies of these um, see the link there on my Facebook page you can go to my Facebook page on that link below and uh, you can print them off they're PDF folds actually they're, these are PGN or, or JPEG folds as you can print off um, right, that's that's it on how I build guitars. We'll go to the workshop so I can show you my workshop so you can see how I, how I, how I work. Um, right, now, coming to these, um, my next few lessons that are coming up are all about scales, riffs and licks. Because um, I keep getting uh, requests from people saying, yeah, love your, your chord playing, can you show us some licks and stuff, some scales and whatever? So that's what I'm going to be doing. So, if you want the scales, don't forget, go to my Facebook page, down, print that off, um, and obviously if you want the chords, you can go to my Facebook page, Mark the Bone Scarbox Guitars, and you can print that one off as well. Right, okay, let's go to the workshop and I'll show you what the rest of the place looks like. Yes, that is the workshop. And here we have the workshop, as you will see. Very small space. This is my bench. Obviously, I clean off the skill saw there, and that's my workbench there. Then above that, we have 
various bits of wood for necks and fretboards and there's my scale there my fretboard scale I've got to do two scales um, either uh, a 25 inch or a 24 inch that's the scale the red scale these are all various parts for guitars you know things that I've been donated which I've used to build guitars this is my fret saw for doing the frets in the fretboard and my jig I've built there and there's obviously there's the cigar boxes you saw earlier here's some American number plates this is Hampshire New Hampshire number plates um, which I shall be using to build some cigar boxes with number plate ones And down the bottom there, you can see that in there. That's my planer thicknesser, and there's my jigsaw there. So yeah, I'll buy, basically buy in, you know, or get given lumps of wood like this, and I'll plane it and cut them to what I need. Um, this here, is some what they call swamp wood. This, um, as I live on the Isle of Wight, that's from a pier um, that they were dismantling. Um, these are probably, I don't know, 100, 200 years, 150 years old, I'm not quite sure. So it's been sitting in the sea for that length of time. Rock hard, and as solid as a rock. I mean, it's like cutting steel. Um, so I thought, well, yeah, I might as well make some necks out of those. That's swamp wood. Um, you don't want to get a splinter because, of course, you're not going septic. Um, basically, that's my workshop. These are my work benches here that I put outside when it's a nice sunny day. My drill here. Um various nuts and bolts and that's a that this here is a bench saw and there's all my other drills and bits and pieces so this is my little domain my six foot by five foot I, I think it's eight foot by five foot shed and this is where all the Mark Bone cigar box guitars are assembled okay let's go back inside it's cold so there you go, that was my workshop. So at the end, I see it got a bit misty because it's so cold outside. My lens was misting up on the camera. So don't forget, if you want to get these sheets, the scales and the cords, go to my link there on Facebook, Mark LeBone Scarborough Guitars, and you can print them off. Um, and what I will be doing in my next few lessons, we'll be giving you some licks, scales, obviously more um, song tuitions as well. So uh, that's it from me, Martin LeBone. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep you updated. See you again soon. Bye for now.